everyone, straight into questions. English, anyone? Oh, yeah. Uh, congratulations, Novak. Um, you, two questions. Um, were you? Do you feel you're back to something like your best um, uh, in, this, in this match? No, but I played better than I did in the first two rounds, so that's um, a positive change, I guess. You know, um, starting to feel better and game-wise and physically as well. So it's positive signs. Uh, but I, you know, I still haven't been playing at my best. Um, you yourself have been involved in very late matches here before, and obviously this match went incredibly late last night. Do the players, have, do you and other players have concerns that this is still not being addressed? I think it is addressed, to be honest. I mean, I, I know that the Grand Slams have had uh, conversations about this, but, you know, they obviously try to start uh, the tournament a uh, day earlier, etc. But, you know, it's... The daily schedule um, and the time of the, the, the matches are schedule that is a, a problem obviously when you have men's uh, playing best of five it can happen as it did with, you know last night with um, day matches they went five sets and then uh, again started what was it 11 p.m uh just uh, yeah it's it's not ideal situation to be in that's for sure um i don't know you know i i, I mean i don't i, I don't see grand slams on main courts, uh, particularly on the center court, changing the format of having day matches and night matches, uh, because that's how they sell their tickets. Uh, you know, that's how they commercialize. That's how they promote. I, I, I just don't see it being one session the entire day. That would help, I think, for the players, uh, definitely, because then we would have an extra maybe few hours uh, in some days. If it starts at 11 or 12, and then depending on how many how many matches are scheduled, uh, I guess the other option is scheduling less one less match on the on the center court as well. But then you know, it's it's I'm sure that they that Grand Slams are taking a lot of different possibilities in the equation in the in the consideration. So that's all I can say. Can we have one per person, please? moment of the match we can see you very frustrated or uncomfortable with your game or with some shots. I, I would like to know in that particular moment which is the thing that you talk by yourself, uh, what is the plan in your mind to change that, to keep focus and having the control of the point? Well, it's not always a positive pep talk, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of trash talk happening inside of my head um, that I guess it's part of the game, you know, it's, it's part of who I am and um, I guess, I mean, I'm quite certain that everyone goes through their crisis moments, you know, particularly in the matches where they don't feel their best and, you know, they, they have doubts. Uh, question is how you, you know, overcome those doubts and, and focus on, on being in the present and trying to get the most out of yourself for the next point. Um, I, I do have... Uh, extrovert uh, kind of personality I show my emotions not always but you know it does happen when I show the bad side of my emotions it's, it's ugly and it's not something I enjoy but it is what it is you know it's it's I'm trying to uh, fight the demons that I have as, as anybody else you know on the court and sometimes it works uh, better sometimes not so not so great so you just have to accept the circumstances and depending on how you feel against certain opponent on the given day you know sometimes you just wake up not feeling great you know and you start to doubt that you can win a match or play well and uh, those are the some of the things that you have to deal with mentally during during the the match well, you still had a bit of a runny nose out there tonight do you know exactly what it is and how much is it affecting you and uh, have you had a test since you've been involved? I haven't had a test. Um, uh, I, it's kind of a regular viral infection that I've been through. Now it's in the last stages and still have some secret coming out and that's all it is. Do you ever, when you start a Grand Slam, sort of a little slow by your own admission, do you ever have doubts that it's not going to come? 
for you? Uh, during the Fortnite? What, what exactly? Sorry, that it's not going to come. Know, that the, the, the higher quality uh, that you so often bring as a, as a, as oh, the yeah. tournament goes on. Do you, yeah, have, yeah. Do you have doubts that maybe this time yeah. it's not uh, going to be there? You mean like going all the way through or just performing well on a given night? or? That you're not going to find your rhythm, that you're not yeah. going to find it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've, been, <laughs> I've been going through that very scenario every match here, so... Uh, I'm actually, I'm really relieved and, and glad that I played the way I played and felt the way I felt tonight. I mean, definitely much better than what was the case in the first two matches. So, yeah, coming into the tournament, I haven't really, yeah, haven't really felt great um, health-wise, physically, and also game-wise. So it, it's all connected, obviously, and um, so I haven't had a. Uh, best out of the tournament in terms of the quality of tennis but I'm in the fourth round so <laughs> you know uh, I, I believe that things will progress as the tournament goes on and that's the case tonight and today so hopefully every day will be better I was wondering because you could play Shelton in the next round potentially and yeah. comments about him at the, uh, the US Open and, and the respect and I was wondering you obviously when you first came on Oh, okay, well, so I'm curious for this question. When you first came on tour, you had a, a big personality also and were, and were very expressive. And I'm wondering if there were ever any older players who ever were, made criticisms to you or gave you advice to do things that made you want to change your behavior. And if there's ever mm. a moment that you can think of when someone else in the sport uh, made you rethink things. It's a good question. I mean... I think I know. I know certainly the feather didn't like the way I was behaving. You know, at the beginning, I think I didn't didn't sit with him well. Um, I don't know about the others. I guess I wasn't the favorite type of guy to some of the some of the top guys because I was, um, you know, not afraid to say that I want to be the best player in the world. To, you know, I was kind of, not kind of. I was confident and I felt like I have the game to back it up. Um, but I never, ever lacked respect. Um, and whenever I start a match, before the match or finish the match, I would always greet the opponent, always acknowledge. So respect is something that I was taught that needs to be present, um, regardless of you know what what is happening. But you know, obviously. Uh, on the court, a lot of things can happen in, in a kind of a...